TF2 public threat on the Choco Buffs 24/7 Egypt server. Um, this is actually the uh, Egypt group, you know, from uh, Autumn e Egyptians from the Steel League, and their home recently was uh, bulldozed by Skyle. So they've been forced to find other, you know, places to, you know, hang out in Egypt up things. But anyway, though, you know. <laughs> hey, admin, who is that? A virus. Um, but yeah. Anyway, you know, Egypt. Not bad server. I quite like it. It's okay. It's got its charm. I find it not really my thing, but overall a good map. Still better than two for let's put it that way. Um, anyway, let's look at the teams today. Well, teams are looking reasonably balanced on blue and on red, somewhat balanced too. So, you know, hopefully we're going to see what's going on here. Doors open. And oh, uh, you see me now. Plus plus, uh, immediately dies upon exit of spawn. Tragedy. And for the time being, those like red are holding. Although um, Kensuki and Medic are breaking out and going for the cat. Well, I think one bothersome little mini sentry there is just keeping Kensuki, you know, off. Oh, there it goes. Combo boom there, nice perch, lofty nest area. Combo boom just generally doing a good job overall. Altor, Juna, capping nicely, so we can do it for blue team. Can't, does red team have any counters? It looks a bit, not really. Uh, I mean, Kensuke's actually taking it easy, I think I'm doing a conquer on the point. And yep, nicely done there from a blue team now. Six minutes on the clock here. And already, uh, Cypher's on that cap there. And just about gets before the engineer gets anywhere near to it. That's a one, two, shut the case. We're done with first po first map. Let's go to the next one. Okay, uh, round two, after getting somewhat lost uh, through doors and shit. Um, <laughs> that will happen. I just left. Oh, that's the that's, yeah, that's oh, oh, shit, wait. No, that's not, that's not loaded up yet. Uh, you be really careful these test servers there. They don't kind of load as fast as the players do sometimes. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Now, in any case, um, well, blue team pretty much just trounced everything in the way on that side there. Uh, maybe we need some engineering from red team. You know, I want to get a decent sentry up. Um, I don't know really what's going to counter this. Maybe some fat men and a couple of medics too might really, really help. Also, stabbing people is also recommended, especially against snipers and the medics, because, you know, it's kind of a good idea. Doors slide down very slowly. Virus wants to immediately go on the offensive and finds that there's a sentry right in there and says, nope. For the time being, look, red is holding reasonably well. UC plus UC plus plus me now. It once more runs into oncoming fire and dies immediately. Now, thing with the second map, Egypt, a uh, tricky map. Now, red team actually defending it quite adequately. They've got all the good high ground areas and working it from there. Um, the thing is, actually, also if you do take this area, um, blue team have a job of a time. Oh, there's just some less server lag going on there. People juttering around a bit. The thing is, if that you know, red, if blue take it, they've then got to go all the way up there and hopefully have a teleporter to boot. If they can get through quick enough, it's fine. But if they don't, it's a long, you know, protracted slog, and it's going to be painful. Now for the time being, eight minutes thirteen on the clock. Blue got a lot of time. They can you know do things. Joss man there with a quick crit to the face on Combo Boon there. This is why we keep crits. This is why I like crits. <laughs> yep, that, that moment when you realise you just ran in front of your own sentry. You don't need four snipers. Um, well, uh, how about that? Um... <laughs> Cold mode engage. That's the thing, actually. I mean, in this map, maybe you need a couple of snipers for a blue team, but you don't. It's a tricky business, as is. And for the time being, like, you know, red is holding that uh, upper ground. They're doing pretty well with it. Oh, God, please, no. Gosh, 
Uh, trying to make an entry. Trying to find an entry. Trying not to be dead. Static finding a way in. Um, and there's a heavy. Um, I think got popped a bit early there. Uh, Dr. Frobish Fang's not sure what to do, but he does find somebody to kill. A few people to kill. Maybe they actually find him instead. I don't know. Oh, unlucky there, Juno. I think Virus just smelt that. Don't know what it was. He came back. He could just feel something grow up against him. Be careful. He's actually a damn good spy checker. No, no, uh, uh, no, McHighman, I think you're making a porno right now. Now, in any case, though, Altor BG, bravest engineer EU. Uh, that is a, seriously a very brave replacement. And looks like Blue Team managed to get up the hill. Static's up there with the best of them. Uh, the Blue aren't really up here too easily, and you see. Oh, you see you see me now, plus plus. Again, somewhat annihilated. He is really, really under pressure here. Five minutes, 39. Red team is holding, although blue team, I mean, Altor there is... That's the weirdest NG setup I've seen ever. Bravest NG setup. He's doing well. Now, can Blue take that point? It's looking pretty clear. Kensuke destroys the sentry, Rainy Loss, and there it goes. Now, Blue team are in with some more, more time here. Nice eight minutes on the clock. Now, this is the thing. Do they have the logistics ready to be able to push and make an advance? Do Red have anything reserved? Now, seven minutes on the clock. Just eight minutes on the clock, relatively. And here goes Blue team's first attack. Looks at so far, actually, Blue Team's making a reasonably good attack on this area. And oh, oh no, no, Mum there was like, Whoa, what the hell are you doing? You should get out there, I'm going to Uber you. Don't hide now. <laughs> Mum's still trying to cap there. I mean, that most hopeful medic EU. But you know what? I'll just hide behind some crates. And hopefully, they won't notice the cap right, is going up. In any case, I think Blue have taken this area quite nicely. Red has been overrun. And there's going to be a full nine minutes on the clock there for Blue Team on the next round. Okay, uh, you know, round three of game one. And the doors are still confusing everybody. Um, we're kinda, okay. Uh, oh, wait, no. This was lies. Um, any case though, blue team are still all commanding and all conquering. They managed to get past the first point. It was when the sentries went down that everything kind of collapsed. So either red needs more sentries, which is a definite plan, or they need more skill, which is not so easy to obtain on the fly. Um, I don't know. You know, it's tricky. I mean, blue team is doing very, very well. Although we haven't seen any short circuits though. Uh, that might need to make an appearance, really. Oh, but I give everybody ideas. They have blue team. Uh, <laughs> nice reflect there from A. Dr. Frobish of Fanning decides to abandon shop uh, and seems to get burnt by A. Black Joker, they're kind of struggling to hit anything right now. And from the looks of it, oh, wow, Blue Team are immediately on the point there. This is not looking good for Red Team. I think they got completely flanked. But I remember the upper little door area there. Now, I think the Egyptians, I know, this is map inside and out. Um, and that long range sentry has flummoxed them a little, although all the nades are firing at it now. It's not going to survive too much longer. And there it goes. Uh, unlucky there, Epic Killer. Uh, Denny Team decides to completely wipe the entire area. 
And looks like Kensuke there just about having it. There we go. 12 minutes on the clock here. It doesn't look good for the uh, red team right now. Do red team have anything reserved? Did they put any coins in the bank? Is there decided to bolster up their rear end? Uh, our survey says, oh shit. And here comes blue. Immediately decided to go um, stomping away over the point. Girati is thrown, but um, blue team take it immediately. That was a damn quick game for the Egyptians there. Okay, now game two, round one. Uh, I think what we have to, I do have to remember here is actually that a lot of the um, Egyptians are on the red teams. So they're all playing together. This is why it's a little bit one-sided. Uh, you know, uh, that's the way these things tend to, tend, do tend to turn out sometimes. Um, I mean, hopefully we get to see the Autumn Egyptians again in the next uh, tourney games, actually. Um, you know, they are coming back. Don't worry. The map decision has already been made. Just ain't going to reveal what it is and when it is. Now, in any case, though, look at the teams what's going on here. Well, blue's a balanced diet of every class. Red team, same as, so he's looking good. No, god damn it, not Koth Wub Wub. Never Koth Wub Wub. I'd rather play 2 4. Now, in any case, doors open. Red team is making some sort of stand. And virus moves up. With medic. <laughs> Can't really get the sentry, but he will take down the, the engineer though. And looks like the points are getting taken pretty damn quick right now. And who is that on the point? When you load that joke and a medic, there it goes. Now, do they have anything on the second point? Well, okay, there's a, there's a brief little uh, thing there. Epic Killer try and go for the second point, Cap, and, re and Red Team are all over that. It's like, nope, nope, all the nope, definitely not. I think they've played this game before. Now, can Blue Team sweep in quickly enough so they can annihilate Red Team before they build anything up? Or are they going to play it slow and steady and have to deal with the remnants of Red Team? Uh, remnants it is. Dr. Frobisher Fanny looking a little bit worried. Oh, that crits pyro there. Oh, uh, oh I eventually takes down Dr. Frobisher Fanny. Nice work from Zydran there. Now, we've got to remember here for a blue team is you do need to attack around the sides. That is quite helpful. If you can get around the sides and do things there, it will force the other team to, you know, distribute the more guys around and it makes it a lot easier to take them out. I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just advising you what to do. In any case, looks like red team's camp taking quite nice. The blue team has shrunk back a bit. Jossman once more killing Gintsu with sword. We are seeing a lot more of that clay more nowadays. Actually. Uh, people are liking that extra half a second charge there. Unlucky there, Black Joker. Just couldn't get that last reflect there. And Dr. Frobisher are finding annihilated from all sides. Unlucky there. And then revenge gain from Bad. Nicely done. Oh, wow. Bad in with a side stab there. And then shot in the head afterwards. Wow, all the calamity going on. Now, it looks like the uh, red team have managed to nice secure the whole area. Rainy Lord does look to have some, some shenanigans, though. Much shenanigans. And unfortunately, it's all completely annihilated and destroyed at once.
Now, maybe perhaps what's needed is, you know, some sort of py some uh, pyro to come in through the front, or maybe a heavy of sorts. Uh, you know, move it up perfectly. That might really work in their favour. Oh, sentry's gone down. Party Martin, nice work from him. Nice few aim shots there. Now, can Blue Team keep pushing up? Can they push it real good? Red team though are you know not down but not out. They are still holding into this game. The thing is actually red team are surviving pretty damn well. Blue team is taking a lot of casualties, but red arm, and uh, that's kind of the problem here. Maybe some crits are a good idea, maybe a flodge is in order. Uh, maybe piss needs to be used, I don't know, but somehow get those numbers down as quickly as you can. Also, I'm going to look out for those engineers when you start sapping their stuff. They get kind of annoyed with that. Try and take a few steady shots there. The Eternal Battle versus Pyro versus Sniper. And there goes an Uber Arcas, one sentry down. Virus is going in for the kill there. Nobody's going to get spared from this. This is looking like the best breakthrough Blue have had so far. They need to push now. Dr. Frobisher Fang strides in there on the point, in the middle of it all, completely annihilated. And the rest of the Blue team didn't really go for it. Oh, unlucky there, but I mean, Blue Team had a chance and they just didn't really come off. Ooh, nice stab there from Gino there, takes down the um, heavy and medic combo. Or maybe just the medic. And a virus there taking down another heavy medic combo. Now, that's the thing. Can Blue Team keep up the pressure? 1 minute 19, they may need a pub push. They may need a hero. And UC Plus Lossy now try and trick out that sentry here by um, doing the bonk scout thing, but nobody's around to actually coordinate with him, which is unlucky. Uh, if there was somebody else with them and you know, could shoot the sentry, that'd be great, but no, nope, not enough. 52 seconds, this isn't looking good. Red team is in the absolute ascendancy right now, and some lag kicks in. You know, with Swedish servers, maybe it's just a test server thing, I don't know. Although, to be fair, unfortunately, the residents have been calling uh, Sweden Lagland after Lapland. Mission ends in 30 seconds. Yeah, where Father Christmas lives, and he hands out all the bad kids, you know. Uh, Nerfs and all the good kids crit crits. Fifteen seconds on the clock. Blue need to push. And there goes an Uber. Can they make this work? Virus up front. Can they get this can they take down the sentry? It's looking somewhat good. And they're on the point. This is the best push so far. Blue need to throw everything they have into this. Time's four on there. It's going it's looking good. Can they do it? Can they Oh my god. Juna is the only thing holding that thing to the there and ah oh no I think Blue have shot their last bolt so very close to a win there and Red Team just save it nicely done Red Team now anyway um, I'm sorry I afraid it was supposed to be a quickie episode today but thank you very much for turning up and please, you know, remember the 24-7 Egypt server from Choco Buff here. I mean, uh, the awesome Egyptians just haunt the server now. Uh, they would they would like some company from time to time. So keep on your favourites list and if you're like playing a bit of Egypt, you know, join the guys. They'll really, really like it. So, you know, some pub players come in. So, you know, keep an eye out for them and they'll really appreciate it. Now, anyway, I think it's time for some, you know, notable characters. I'm still working on the MVP selection process. Um, I, who, am I, who am I looking at around here? Well, um... Okay, I think Virus91, uh, for general good work overall, just seems to be here, there, and everywhere. 
Uh, playing Pyro usually, but you know, very good overall. Uh, on top of which, um, I would like to give You See Me Now Plus Plus uh, the uh, Ridiculous Bravery Award for running face first into enemy gunfire and still dying. You know, it, it weren't the best of ideas, but damn it, he's brave. Uh, you you got to give him that. Anyway, you know, thank you very much, guys. Had a fun, you know, fun little time here, and hopefully I'll see you guys later.